Facebook. All right, we are about a half mile from the finish of 1270 mile race. Don't keep. <laughs> half mile to go for the summer that I thought would never end. So I am running with Matt. Hey Matt. Hey guys. And here is Buddy hey, Teaster. So talk about full circle moments. I interviewed Buddy almost two years ago now and I will never forget. Buddy and I had a good hour, hour and a half long conversation and when Buddy left, I turned to Robin. If you're listening, Robin, you'll remember this. I turned to Robin and I said, my life just changed somehow. I'm not really sure how it changed, but the conversation with that guy just somehow changed my life. And so here I am. One way it's changed is back then, I didn't run 350 miles a month. <laughs> so that, that changed pretty drastically. Um, back then, I didn't understand the importance of shoes in some people's lives, and I absolutely understand the miracles that they work for people today. I had never been to a place like Honduras, which one year ago today, and buddy, we didn't even talk about this when we talked about today, so the timing of that to earlier this week realize that the day I would be finishing this, the day I would be finishing this race, I would be waking up in Honduras for the first time. So wow, there's, a, there's a lot in that conversation that with Buddy that absolutely changed my life and my heart in a lot of ways. And so I've been grateful to have this summer journey to share the work that Souls for Souls does. And Can I horn in on your yes. video for a second? Because you're not giving yourself any credit here. Your life changed, and that's an amazing thing to be a part of, but you have changed a lot of other people's lives here, Honduras, all around the world. And so as you're thinking about all you've accomplished, I hope you feel good about that too, because there are thousands of people who are better off because of you. Well, I appreciate that, buddy. And you know, one of the one of the big reflections of that has been so many people who have come along on this journey. Um, big contributions, small contributions, a bag of shoes, a shoe drive, even just simple, simple reaching out and saying, you know, proud of you, or you can do this. And, you know, one of the big things for me too, is being a part of this great virtual race across Tennessee was following in the Facebook group and the number of people who said, the number of people who said that they were doing something that they never thought they could do before. How this really triggered in them just something to get out and try something new. And then the feeling of, hey, I never, I never thought I could do this. And that's been a lot of this journey for me. Certainly that's what happened in Souls for Souls with the trip to Honduras. I will assure you, the morning I woke up in Honduras last year for the first time, I was like, what? What am I doing here? How did I get here? And how's the quickest way to blame Buddy for this? Um, but, so I hope, I hope that a lot of people who have followed this journey, one, will, you know, look inside yourself. What is it that, just personally, physically, that, Maybe you've talked yourself into believing you can't do. And then understand, and sometimes when we do those things, it doesn't end up being about us at all. Um, this summer, again, I started out running this, this race across Tennessee and back and sounded like a great way to fill in the blank of a lot of canceled races. And, you know, everybody who's followed along has seen that it's turned into something much more beautiful than that. And I was thinking about that yesterday that I think sometimes we get to defining 
what is beautiful in life. <laughs> we start picturing what, what we want to be beautiful and we limit ourselves to chasing that. And, you know, some days it's just trying something, getting out there and taking a step and seeing what beautiful comes from it. You might just be, be surprised. So my long and out of breath way of saying, I appreciate you all. Yeah, when I came, wanted to run this final leg with Buddy, I, he took running seriously. Like the first first mile was an 11 minute mile. You know that's not what I've been doing this summer, but we are 3.03. I can see the, I can see the gate and the finish line. Here's Courtney. Courtney got, got a win. She was out running us all. So here we go, down the final stretch. Any of you who've run the Richmond Marathon, this is all downhill from here. And like running into the finish line, 200 and, or 1,269.9 miles in. And here's the, here's the, here's the Souls for Souls team. Oh. Hey, hey, they're my Honduras travel partners. Woo! Yeah. So we have, actually that's the yeah, 3.1, but I'm going to the gate. Everybody else goes to a gate. I'm going to the gate. Woo! Huh. There's the gate. And here's where we lean over. It is over. Woo! It is done. This long summer. Let me stop the watch. So thanks, you know, to everybody. Woo. I am grateful. Just grateful for this chance. And again, for all of you who came along in this, um, it means a lot. So woo, now we celebrate that. It's over, and keep on remembering that poverty has a finish line. We have, to, we have to be that finish line. We have to do whatever it takes to make that happen. So thank you all. I am going to present something to Souls for Souls at some point, and I'll come back with that. But God bless you all. Thank you so, so much.